what an articulate person and so persuasive too. Now I'll remember to keep my red alert on and to stick to the green zone. As much as possible. Yes, so bring on the next principle Mukesh. I promise to be a good listener. The seventh principle is emphasize design thinking and prototyping. Once a design team becomes cohesive, the focus must shift to work quality. The team has to transform itself into a high functioning set of individuals working to create and craft the best product they can. So that means allow time for brainstorming. Look at failures as steps to eventual success. Give team members time to mull, share and redo. Make sure every idea goes through the filter of feedback at each stage. Design thinking is a process where we go from empathizing to ideation to experimentation to prototyping and finally testing. You would be familiar with this sequence by now. The eighth principle is critical thinking. A very powerful, actually a very necessary tool to use when we do design work and when we collaborate is critical thinking. If we are trying to make the best product or design the best service or system that we can, we need to examine every nut and bolt for possible flaws. But what does critical thinking actually involve? I'm sure there must be a video we can watch. Of course, yes. There is a video that explains the concept quite well. You know what to do to see the video. Have a look.